Ever since I got my hands on the Cricut mug press, I cannot stop making mugs. I may just have an entire shelf full of Cricut mugs now. With Mother's Day coming up, I decided that I would add a few more mugs to my collection. Now that's why I created this step-by-step -step tutorial that's going to show you how to create your very own adorable Mother's Day mugs. As an added bonus, I'm going to walk you through how to create this really cute little mug box. The best part about this box is it can be reused for any holiday or special event. If you're new here, I'm Kim from Sweet Red Poppy and every week I share a new crafting, sewing, or Cricut video here on my channel. So don't forget to subscribe below, that way you never miss out on an episode. First off, I'd like to thank Joanne for sponsoring this video. You can find all of the materials and supplies that I'm using in this project today at either your local Joanne store or on joanne.com. To begin with, I am going to be walking you through how to create your very own Mother's Day mug. But be sure to stick around until the very end because I'm going to also walk you through this cute little mug box. If you're new to the Cricut Mug Press, let me tell you a little bit about it. This mug press is designed to create vivid, permanent results using Cricut Mug Blanks and Infusible Ink. If you've never used Infusible Ink or even the Mug Press before, don't worry. I'm going to walk you through everything that you need to know. For this project, you will need the following supplies. A Cricut Joy, Explore Air 2 or Maker, Infusible Ink Transfer Sheets, a Mother's Day Mug SVG file, a fine point blade, alcohol, a lint-free cloth, a Cricut mug blank, I'm using the 12 ounce, heat resistant tape, and the Cricut mug press. To begin, clean your mug using some rubbing alcohol and then let it dry completely before you place your infusible ink design on it. Align the infusible ink with the left side of your mat. Next, we're going to open up Design Space. Click on the link that I have included in the description below. That's going to take you to a canvas for two different Mother's Day mug file designs. So I have designed one set for 15 ounce cups and one set for 12 ounce cups. You'll wanna make sure that you're using the right size for the mug that you're going to be making. Now click Customize. Choose the design that you want to cut out and you can hide or even delete the rest of the files. Once you have your design ready, go ahead and click Make It. Then you can click Continue. Now you want to select Infusible Ink Transfer Sheets as your material and you can follow the rest of the prompts within Design Space. You'll want to make sure that you mirror your image before you cut it out. This is really important, otherwise it's going to end up backwards. Now, as your design is being cut out, it is time to heat up your mug press. First, you're going to want to plug it in, then click on your power button. This is going to turn it on. The power button will turn green once your heat press is heated up completely. The mug press only heats up to one temperature, which makes it super easy to use this. Now you're going to remove your infusible ink from your mat by gently peeling the mat away from the material. Just like this. Next, roll this material back and forth between your hands. This is going to help to gently lift those cut lines that we just made. Now you're going to remove the sides of the design. This sticky flap is going to help you adhere to the mug and it keeps it secure as you press it in place. Once you have your design cut out and it's ready to go, it is time to secure it to your mug. We're going to be using these little side flaps to help secure it. Make sure that it's placed evenly on your mug and you can add a little bit of heat resistant tape along the top and bottom. That's just going to keep it in place. Now you're going to insert your mug into your press. Make sure that the lever is completely up when you insert it. Once it's all the way in, you're going to press down on your lever, which will start your countdown process. You'll notice these five little lights above the power button. These lights are going to let you know how far along your mug is in the process of being pressed. Once the press is complete, you'll see that your machine beeps and all five of your lights are going to flash. To take the mug out, just lift up on this lever and pull it straight out. Now be really careful because it's going to be extremely hot. So you'll wanna be careful. And I like to set it just on something that's heat resistant and I let it cool completely. It does take a few minutes to cool. 
Now that you have your mug, it's time for us to make our gift box. For the mug gift box, you will need the following supplies. A Cricut Explorer or a Maker, the fine point blade, a scoring wheel or stylus, a 12 by 24 inch standard grip mat, a spatula, a 12 by 24 inch piece of cardstock, an SVG file, and tape or glue. To begin, download the mug box SVG file. You can find the link to download the file in the description of this video. Once you have your file downloaded, go ahead and upload it into Cricut's design space. This file is already pre-sized to fit both the 12 ounce and 15 ounce Cricut mug. Before we go ahead and cut this out, we need to change these black lines to score lines. So click on the black line and change the line type to score. Next, we're going to attach all of the score lines to the box. Select both and hit attach. Now click make it and click continue. Select the correct material. I'm going to be using this glitter cardstock. Following the prompts within Design Space, load your machine with either the scoring wheel or the stylus. Next, we're going to prepare our mat. Begin by removing your clear protective liner. Set this aside somewhere since you're going to need to put it back on once you're finished. Adhere your sheet of cardstock to the mat. You can use your grid lines to line everything up. I'm placing mine face down. And then press firmly just to make sure that everything is adhered to the mat. Now you can go ahead and load your mat into your machine. Line your mat up and click the flashing C button to start scoring. Once your machine has finished scoring, Design Space is going to prompt you to switch between your scoring wheel and your blade. Now, without unloading your mat, you're going to click on the flashing C button and it's going to continue, but this time it's going to be cutting. Once your machine has finished cutting, you can unload your mat. Next, I'm going to carefully remove my project from my mat. I'm going to do this by flipping it over and gently peeling the mat away from my material. Now what that does is it prevents your cardstock from rolling or curling or getting bent. And now I'm just going to pop out this design. You can see you get a much cleaner cut if you cut glitter cardstock from the back. Now that we have everything cut out, we're going to assemble our box. I like to start by going along each of my score lines and just firmly pressing down on them. So this, is, this is going to start shaping our box. We use the double scoring wheel on this project and it really works well on these thicker materials. I'm going to start by folding in these two ends together. Then I'm going to insert this flap into this slot. I'm going to quickly add just a little bit of glue along this side to secure it in place. Now you can stand your box upright. At this point, I'm going to insert my mug into my box. So you can see we have this larger cutout in the front and then a smaller cutout to the side. That side one is going to be for the handle of our mug. I'm just going to turn this, slide my handle out. Next up, I'm going to fold in both of these tabs. And you're going to take the flap that has this little hole on the side. That one's going to go down first. Okay. 
and then we'll close in our second one. This side has a little flap and I'm going to pre-fold it inwards. And that is just going to tuck into this little slot and hold it in place. Now you have this adorable mug box and cute little mug. If you create your very own custom mug or mug box, be sure to post it on Instagram and tag me so that I can see it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, or leave me a comment below. Be sure to stop by your local Joanne or joanne.com to purchase the supplies for this video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next week for another crafting video.